Got a carry case of some sort. I feel like I need to go wash my hands. Oh, it's the charger. Okay. Got a special little case just for your charger. Got your wall charger, a car charger. That's very handy. And a solar charger. Even more handy. Plug that right into your solar. Get this thing charged up wherever you need to. It even comes with an Anderson plug. That's nice. All sorts of options there in this handy little carry case. I like it. This is nice. Actually, it feels nice. Extra thick padding. Very nice. And here be the portable power station. Good day everybody and welcome to this review and test video of a portable power station from Pecron. Got a lovely looking unit here. I like the black and orange. Came with a great selection of charging options in their own case. This is the Pecron E600LFP portable power station. It puts out 1200 watts with 614 watt hours of power. Comes with the lithium iron polymer 4 battery. This unit has the 1200 watt pure sine inverter with a 2,400 watt surge. 614 watt large capacity, 25.6 volt, 24 amp hour. Lithium iron 4 battery with 3,500 plus life cycles, charged to 80%. 400 watt max solar charging, 11 versatile output, 15 watt wireless charger, PD, 100 watt, USB-C. You can charge this by your AC outlet. You can charge this off your wall, solar, car, or your generator. The E600 LFP, check it out. Got your wall outlets, got your 12 volt auto, USBs, USB C's, got a barrel style 12 volt jack, charges off a of DC, off a of solar. So, you even got one of these handy dandy phone chargers, which I'm pretty sure mine doesn't have, but that is a handy deal. Easy carry handle, cooling fans. I like the cushy rubber bumpers. It's like a hard rubber. But that's nice. First thing you want to do with shipped batteries is get them charged. So let's go plug this in, charge it up. All right, Pecron is now officially a part of the Tower of Power. Let's go grab that charger. And don't forget you got your manual and your fancy little carry case here. Okay, you got your DC inputs, which looks like top one is for 12 to 18 volts, 100 watt max. Bottom one is for 32 volts to 95 volts, 400 watt max. So that's probably for your solar, which is actually pretty nice. Must have a built-in charge controller. So you can just plug your solar panel straight in. Uh, output is 42 volts. Well, 42 volts is gonna have to go on this one. I wonder if the plugs are the same, if it's easy to mix them up. Nope, plugs are different, so. No mixing those up, no, nothing to worry about there. Like when they send these nice Velcro cable straps. I like the uh, somewhat flexible cord on this. I don't care for the really stiff cords that are hard to manage and harder to straighten out. Got a nice clean little display on there, I like that. And 
Looks like it's charging now. 160, 170 watts going in. I like it. Let's go ahead and see how long that takes to charge us from Okay, did the little peel off for you guys now, I want to put it back up. Because I like keeping my things nice, that's the wrong side. A little protection, but... I can't help but to want to peel these off. Got a lot of protections, over voltage, over heat, over load, short circuit, self recovery. Dimensions, net weight, about 20 pounds. Got lots of good info and easy to read in this manual. I like it. Ah, oh, nice. Got a little section to tell you how to hook up solar panels. Another page for solar panels. Your 36 volt times two, 400 watts. Yep, that is counting down. Awesome, that's going to be a very handy thing to have, a little countdown timer. So I guess that'll be about an hour for um, about a half charged battery, a little more than half charged battery. Probably takes two and a half hours to charge the whole thing, maybe, I'm guessing. Alright, it's fully charged according to the display anyway. Charger's still going. Okay, so this is input wattage as well as output wattage. I just looked at the manual. So I'll go by that and it is still pretty warm so that is certainly still charging. Alright, the watts are dropping. So that gauge wasn't too far off. I've never known these to be too accurate. They're better just for giving you an idea of where your battery is at. Uh, like the one on my e-bike, it's the same way, you know. Yeah, that thing's cooling off. Got less current going into the battery. So that took an hour and ten minutes. There we go, fully charged. More like an hour and 20 minutes to get that fully charged from 60% or whatever it was. I do like this readout. You can see it's still putting in a little bit of a trickle charge there. Oh, now it's done. Let's give it a quick test with the multimeter. Alright, we're at 120 volts. 121. That's pretty neat. I like how you can uh, individually turn on the uh, 12 volt or the 120 volt power sources. Got 
power for my lighting, some power for the camera. It's going to be very helpful. Run your power tools. Seems to have plenty of power for that drill. Lights aren't dimming. that is a pretty handy little unit there you got all your you got your AC output 12 volt USB multiple different ways to charge it's got the built-in inverter got everything but the solar panels built into this thing and Pecoron carries those too I got handy portable fold-up solar panels that work with this unit so check them out and see what they got not bad I mean that wasn't too much work but it definitely seems like that could go a long time uh, working with the lighter loads. 